Hello, traders. This is uh, Dave from the Right Line Options Live Trading Room. And I just wanted to put out a, uh, a quick video on the uh, some of the happenings over the last couple of weeks. And uh, appreciate everybody who's been in my room for a couple of weeks. Um, just kind of recap the market for the, the two weeks that we, we've been trading. Um, the, uh, the SPY, the SPY, was down 2.7% uh, over the of those two weeks and the Dow Jones and industrial average was down 460 points in two weeks. And um, our track record over that time was um, 22 wins and uh, five losses and one scratch. So that's, you know, in a market like that, that's pretty good. Uh, market was down both weeks uh, pretty hard. Uh, so uh, all in all, those are pretty good. Those are pretty good, uh, those are pretty good uh, numbers. And uh, hopefully we can improve on them. As time goes by, what I wanted to cover tonight was uh, some of the stocks that I'm looking at for Tuesday, the 18th, the Monday the market's closed, but um, the 18th, um, I have some, some stocks up here that I've got in the, on the Compass uh, trading system on our Thinkorswim platform. And I just kind of wanted to go through some of those stocks. And these are ones that I'm gonna be watching for, for Tuesday morning and explain why they're, they're such good setups um, in the Compass system. Compass system, as you, as you know, I think uh, gives us a lot of uh, institutional information on what institutions are doing uh, for, for buying and selling. And that allows us to basically avoid uh, stocks that are not having institutional buying or selling and, and join the ones that do. Uh, that, that gives us a higher probability. And uh, I think, you know, we, one of the, the things we're looking for is, is stocks with, uh, with institutional buying that the Compass system points out for us. And secondly, we like to trade stocks with relative strength, relative weakness to the market. Um, anything that's, that's any stock that's trading better than the SPY, um, either on a five minute chart or a daily chart, uh, those give us a better opportunity to uh, make a profit because they're not going to be uh, so severely impacted as the uh, as uh, other stocks that don't have relative strength would be. So the first one I'm looking at is Coca-Cola. This is it right here. And this, this is on a daily chart. And again, you see all of our all of our indicators on green. Uh, from this is the this is the quant, the multi time frame Laguerre, and the current time frame Laguerre. We have a, a 50 moving average, exponential moving average of an exponential moving average right there. Uh, is the 15 both all green? And you notice that the trend dots are green and moving up uh, right along the 15. Very bullish. Uh, we have the big fat green dots here, yeah, those are acceleration dots. And um, that's telling us there's a lot of institutional buying in Coke. And again, we have these pop out of the box uh, arrows, both here and here, indicating that the, the stock is strong and moving up. So that's that's the first one uh, I'll be looking at. And you, you, you can see that's the kind of setup we're looking for, a sideways movement into the into the, into the the dots. Um, another one that I'm, that I'm uh, have on my radar, is AMAT, Applied Materials. Now this is looks a little bit different. Um, we've had the uh, Laguerre here on the current time frame go from yellow to red to blue, but blue is is moving up toward the uh, the institutional buyers are coming in. So it's giving us it's giving us, giving us some strength. And again, it's structured the way we want. We have the the 15 here that just turned green, and the 50 that's green, and the trend dots right here, which were yellow indicating compression or chop have just turned green on this big red, uh, this big green engulfing candle on Friday. So this is a stock that's, that um, I suspect is gonna go higher from here. We, we would check on Tuesday to see, how, uh, to see how it does, but that's the second one I'm looking at, applied materials, AMAT. A third one I'm looking at is ERF. Um, ERF is, again, you're going to see similar similar setups to all these stocks. See, it's all green. We've got the 50 here, and the 15 is green, moving up with the trend dots right above the 15, moving up, and with the acceleration dots right there with a nice green candle uh, on Friday, which popped above the, the Wednesday high. So that's a that's another bullish sign on, on this on this stock. So again, another nice setup on uh, on ERF. Another one we've got is PCAR, P-C-A-R. 
PCAR has, uh, again, similar setups. Notice that the, we're, we're taking uh, trend dots that are above the 15 and rising with the 15 right here. And again, the stock has moved sideways or compressed to the side, popped up here, and then popped up again on Friday with two green candlesticks, all green below. And um, so this is, this is a one to watch. Now, PCAR has earnings on, on January 25th. So we would be in a position of buying options that expire this coming Friday or the following Friday, but we would have to close the trade out before the 25th. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, another one I have come across is OVV. Again, similar. Now we do have a, a yellow multi time frame Laguerre here, which which t tends to be bearish sometimes. But but notice it's gone from red, which is very bearish, to blue, to yellow, to blue, to yellow, to blue, to yellow. That tells you there's a lot of chop in the multi time frame. So um, it's it's not something I would throw out as a potential uh, swing trader as potential long on Tuesday. Everything else is green, and the the construction of the of the, the 50 and the 15 are perfect with the with the trend dots moving up and acceleration dots right here. So um, again, OVV is is another good one. Um, I have quite a few actually. Um, is Caterpillar? Uh, Caterpillar has. Uh, solid green across the board. All of our all of our trends are green. Um, again, the 15 is moving up. The 50 is green. The trend dots are green moving up, and we have two strong days in a row um, on Thursday and Friday. Remember, the market was weak on Thursday and Friday, and these all of these stocks are are outperforming the market um, each day. So these have relative strength to the market. And again, so Caterpillar would be a would also be what I'll be looking at um, on Tuesday. Uh, here's another one is pump, and it's a similar situation on the multi time frame. Frame we've got the oscillator is going between bullish and bearish, bullish and bearish, um, but we have a quant that's green. Everything else is green, and we've just had the 50 go from yellow to green, which means we've we've got enough with trend, and the trend dots are moving right up along the, the, fifth, the 15. This is really nice with a, this big breakout candle on Friday. Um, so this is this is also a strong one. I'm, I'm hoping that by by uh, doing a video on, on what I'm looking for, how I found these stocks, or what I'm looking for in these stocks, it, it will get you familiar with what to look for, for um, to trades. And if, if, if this was on a five minute chart, we would be looking at it for an interday. Uh, I'm looking at them on a swing basis right here, but I could still trade these on an intraday basis on Tuesday and uh, they pop up and we get into them and get out. We do, we just take profits. Another one that I've got here is, is VET, V-E-T. Um, you know, to just, you can't miss the, you can't miss the, the similarities between the setups and all of these. Uh, this one is, is also pretty nice. The, the only thing I would caution is that the, the price has gotten a little bit of far away from the 15, but but still, this Friday candle is really nice uh, with, the, with the trend dots moving up along the 15. Everything else is green. Um, a really a really good setup. Um, it's, it's right here at the, at the, these pink dots here is a pivot point. It's right here at the high. It would need to get a break through that uh, on, on Tuesday. Let's see, PXD. I'm not going to put a lot of oil stocks up here. Oil was energy was very strong last week, especially on Friday. PXD is is basically a continuation. It's been it's been strong all along here. But again, all green, all green. 15 with the trend dots moving up. This this is what we look for. You see this move to the side and then a move up. You're you're, you're looking to get in somewhere close to these these dots if you can. These trend dots are the 15 so that your downside. Uh, as far as as far as um, loss potential is concerned, is as low as you can make it. So PXD is another good one. Ford is a, another strong one, and they they all look the same, don't they? As far as the uh, as far as the setups are concerned, we have uh, the green gear for the current time frame, green multi time frame, green quants, uh, 15 moving up. And this is the C2, which is also green. And the, the 50 is below here. It's not on this chart, but it's below there. And the trend rocks are green, moving up. And the stock has moved up, moved sideways, and popping up again. 
So that Ford also is a, is a good looking longer term one. Uh, the last bullish one I've got is the Mgen. Mgen looks is, looks very good as well. Um, again, this is a, a nice compression here. The stock moves sideways, moves sideways, moves sideways. You notice that the, the trend dots went, they were green here, they went to yellow as the stock progressed sideways and then just turned green uh, on Thursday and Friday um, as, as the stock uh, went higher and we get a pop out of the box arrow right here telling us that this uh, this stock is really strong. And you see it, it broke above the high of all this all this compression in here. Breaks out of compression are, are, are really, really strong, strong, um, set up to take. If, if that's really what you're looking for, is stocks that move sideways and then break up um, with the pop out of the box or at least with the green the green trend dots moving up. So that's uh, that's the last bullish one I'm, I'm gonna uh, talk about. I have a couple of bearish ones. One is XAIR. And you can see the, the bearishness in this particular stock. Um, again, you've got the 50 up here, which is red. You've got the 15 here, which is red, moving down, and the trend dots are just going below the 15 right now. Um, so it's exactly the opposite of the uh, of the bullish ones. Everything is red. Uh, we had this was actually a sell signal right here on this, but again, we're moving sideways and then we break down. So this this is for sure a, a bearish setup for for Tuesday that I'll be watching. And I have one other bearish one, and that's uh, Weight Watchers. Um, not hard to miss. I mean, here's the 50 red moving down. Here's the 15 red moving down. We actually just broke below this shaded compression area right here. This is a, the when you see this on your chart on your toss chart. This is a, a a compression area. So you you wait for a stock to break above it or below it. But you see the stock moves sideways here, compressed. And here's a pop out of the box sell signal right here on this candlestick on Friday. Um, and it looks looks like it's it's positioned to to fall further on Friday. So we've got a couple of longs. I mean, we've got a, a lot of longs and a couple of shorts. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm, be, I'm set up to, to look at some of these. I'll put them in a watch list. And when the stock market opens on Tuesday, I'll see which of these are performing the way I want. If I see that Weight Watchers is, is dropping on the open, uh, it's, it'll definitely become a, a prospect for a uh, for a short. For a short, if um, if it turns around and heads green, I would wait to see what it does through the rest of the day. But I, I, I hope this gives you a flavor of what we look for in the compass system to find uh, stocks that uh, meet our criteria that have uh, this institutional buying and selling taking place, which gives us um, uh, the ability to find the highest probability trades. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the highest probability trades we can find. And um, so uh, hopefully this, this will be a help to you folks. Uh, any, any, uh, you know, if you come in the room on Tuesday, any comments in the video that how I can improve it or add to it or delete from it, <laughs> just let me know. And um, I, I appreciate you all uh, watching the video. Thanks very much.